With the arrival of ProRes codec acceptance for graded videos coupled with a much more efficient upload process in our image manager for Stocks United contributors, we thought of producing a quick updated export tutorial. ProRes is an industry standard codec preferred by clients for its high bitrate, bit depth, color gamut and flexibility in color grading. We'll demo this in DaVinci Resolve, but the procedure is similar in other video editors. And if you're curious about joining the Stocks United community as an artist, why not try applying from the link in the description below. Assuming that you went through your clip selections and color grading, first head over to your project settings and make sure to set your timeline resolution to match the source clip's native resolutions you are working with. Identify and group the same resolution clips on the same timeline. For instance, if you have vertical oriented clips, group them on a separate timeline from the horizontal ones. To export your graded clips, head over to the deliver page and start by selecting an output location. Next, click on individual clips and in the file tab, select source name, use unique file names and suffix as unique file name. Name the file subfolder as graded in this case to create a subfolder within your main output location we specified earlier. Then deselect export audio on the audio tab. Click on the video tab and select the following depending on your platform. For PC users, select QuickTime for format, DNxHR for codec, DNxHR HQX 12-bit for type and set your data levels to full. Likewise, for Apple users, select QuickTime for format, Apple ProRes for codec, Apple ProRes 422 for type and leave the data levels on auto in this case, which is on by default. Click on Render at Source Resolution to make sure you're matching the clip's native dimensions. Keep in mind that if you are on a free Resolve version, you won't have this option and you won't be able to export higher than 4K UHD. Also, the maximum vertical orientation export resolution in the free version is 1080 by 1920. Set your color space tag to Rec 709, the gamma tag to Gamma 2.4 and make sure you have force sizing and debare to highest quality checked if you are working with raw footage. Click Add to Render Queue and start the render. Your graded files will be exported to the graded folder. Once you're done, save these settings as a new preset for later use by clicking the three dots at the top and giving it a clear name. Next time you need to render with the same settings, simply select the preset from the custom preset options. PC users will need this extra step to convert the DNxHR HQX files to ProRes 422 using an encoder like Shutter Encoder, for which we have a tutorial which you can watch right now if you click on the link above. In case you filmed in a qualified lock format, you have the option to upload the ungraded lock pair to the existing graded clip you already uploaded. This is an optional step, but in case you decide to do so, use the same settings as for the graded files with these changes. In the video tab, change the enable flat pass to always on. This action will disable all grades and export an ungraded flat pass of the clip. Think of a flat pass as a trimmed clip straight out of the camera. Next, click on the file tab and name the file subfolder as ungraded. This will create a subfolder in the main output location. Click on add to render queue and start the render. Your ungraded clips will be exported in the ungraded folder. Remember to save these settings as a render preset for future use. The same applies for Apple users, but this time select Apple ProRes 422HQ from the type options for a higher data rate version for the ungraded video. Again, PC users will need to transcode the ungraded DNxHR files to ProRes, but this time in a 422HQ codec using Shutter Encoder or an encoder of your choice. Well, hope you found this short video useful and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you are not yet and I'll see you in the next one.